The Fear Beast is 36 feet long. It's not pretty. It challenges you. It brings up emotions that people don't want to talk about. We were originally thinking way back on the far corner. Yeah, this is, I like this spot here. Facing the fear beast is about facing our fears and facing our own inner wounded child. All of our fears come from wounds of us as children. Facing the fear beast started as a Burning Man honorarium project. Sculpted it out of motorcycle tires. No, the face. Faces. Oh, we sculpted those too. You yeah. My name is Callie Beck. I run a fabrication shop in Santa Fe, New Mexico called Starkraven Fabrication. Build my own art. I build other people's art. I help other artists scale their own projects. I started Starkraven with my friend Lucas. He was also a collaborator with Tigre Michelle Lively. The Fear Beast is largely a brainchild between me, Lucas, and Tigre. Tigre came with the concept. I came with the structural design know-how. Lucas bent all of the tubes and welded them all together. Tigre did all of the tire sculpting. Scales are cut on a water jet cutter. It was a huge volunteer effort to make the Fear Beast come to life. I am so grateful to my team. We have Troy, fabricator, welder, heavy equipment operator. Joseph, expert rigger, heavy equipment operator. Can look at an object and know how it's going to behave in the air. Cameron, solid brains and solid muscle. Carpenter, builder out of Albuquerque. Thanks for being here. Stay safe. Love you, Love you guys. guys. Love you, Tigre. When we're building the beast, somebody is in danger all the time. So this thing's just gonna hover in place until one leg is on it, kind of? Until, yeah, until all, all the legs things. are on it. We have one person in a VR that's controlling the body lift. We have another person in a VR controlling the weight of the leg. So we set the foot and we butt the plate up against the side of the body. I got one bolt hole, let's get one bolt on. Ridiculously enough, I sit inside of the beast. Yeah, I'm not straight as hell. One leg on. So the beast has to come down for sure. Does this help when I'm doing that? Yes, it sure fucking does. Yes. yes. Give me another one. <laughs> Bolt team, next one. <laughs> okay. Too much. Stop. stop, stop, down. Got it. You guys, we're killing it. Stop. Oh, Woo! Oh, well, I can see the holes. Wait is off. God, that is quite the process. Uh -huh. Jesus. If we had had like an extra month for engineering, I would have had a safer way to put the legs on. Well, I don't know that all art should be pretty. One of the reasons why I agreed to build the Fear Beast is because it pulls on really intense emotions. During our fundraising phase, people are like, I hate this piece. I don't want it to go to Burning Man. I don't know why you would put something like this at Burning Man. You know, like it generated a lot of controversy. Some people that worked on it hate it. There are some people that worked on it that blame it for Tigre's death. We really did like take some time both at the beginning of the build and the end of the build to make space for those emotions. One of the things that I think the Fear Beast brings to some place like Art City is dynamism of art. Yeah, it's masterful.